My name is Jens von Kries. I'm heading a chemical biology uh, platform located at uh, the Max Delbrück Center in Berlin Buch. And this platform, this technology platform for supporting uh, projects and high throughput experiments is uh, founded by the Leibniz Institute for Molecular Pharmacology and it's jointly co-financed by the Max Delbrück Center which belongs to the Helmholtz Society. So we have a library of about 80,000 compounds. We then added also genome-wide libraries for interference to study gene function. And the main purpose is to enable academic projects to have access to this kind of high throughput screening and to identify compounds with bioactive uh, profiles to learn something about basic biology. Uh, lifestyle analysis is really important and is also more and more used by academic projects. And this is a challenge because you really have to tightly control that the responses you get are really real responses uh, by systems and not affected in any kind by uh, the method you are applying, that you damage cells, you cause mutations, and you have yeah, you have time, experimental time scales uh, from days to weeks to months. Our platform supports 15 to 20 projects, academic projects per year. So I expect that we will need all the technology supplied by the Spark Cyto because I cannot predict the future uh, projects we have to support. And I think it's really nice that you have a really broad portfolio of technology so you can use this uh, system for instance, to measure protein ligand interactions uh, by fluorescent uh, polarization. You can use uh, enzyme uh, assays and read out these enzyme assays. You can use imaging and apply that for cell culture systems. And it really is also, it really bridges the gap between a plate reader and an uh, automated microscope. So, and uh, you, it all is uh, provided in one machine. So we realized that cellular uh, systems are becoming more and more requested by the projects which apply for support at our technology platform. And that they also really need and demand for this high throughput format to do cellular assays on 384 microtiter plates and to screen large uh, libraries. And we support this uh, drug screening or compound screening with 80,000 80, probes, genome-wide screens where we have 140,000. And you really need this uh, automation in a reader format and also the combination of multi-parameter fluorescence measurements and beside this uh, analysis of images which you can uh, make of the cell cultures and then look for confluency for transfection efficacy. You can do real-time uh, measurements with the system, kinetics, and what's also nice, there's an inbuilt injector. So when you use stem cells and you need to identify by your analysis a certain time point which is most effective, then you can set an injection at that time point. And that means you can really tightly control the time of where you apply something else to make the next step in creating muscle cells from heart or other brain cells. And this is really uh, a demanded uh, thing. And I, I'm really looking forward to apply this.